have a refrigerator that's given out double door refrigerator with a freezer at the bottom you can hear it running but it's not cooling take this back off for this refrigerator on the back of it I had about six screws I had to take out you have a plug right here and come down right here and this is your compressor starter relay and take this screw out so I can get this cover off pull that cover off and this right here got a few parts ordered and put these in there and see what it do and just a note for anybody that has a Kenmore refrigerator some of them are they're made by LG like this one and the parts are hard to find they have some places they won't even work a service on uh, these LG refrigerators this is the overload protection relay unplug it No, I tell you, take a picture of it if, you, if you're not uh, certain on things. You plug that back in. You hear a humming going on. But, let's go to our next part. Next, I'm going to take this cover off right here it's got three screws one in the bottom two in the top in here this is your circuit board up in here you got a capacitor right here so my next part I'm going to replace is this capacitor just like capacitor for your heat pump if you hadn't saw it I got a video on fixing the outside unit to your heat pump where I changed the capacitor on it. This one. Just pull that out. And I have unplugged the refrigerator. Just unplug it. I got a new one. Plug the new one in. Set it back in place. Now I'm going to plug the refrigerator back in. I'll replace that capacitor. You saw me replace that overload protector.